What's up YouTube, my name is Kenneth. Today we are going to talk about these awesome Hanayama puzzles. These ones are actually a co-worker's of mine and he showed them to me and they're so cool. So let's get into them. So this one is the Labyrinth puzzle and it's uh, rated a level six, I think, from Hanayama. Uh, and uh, I found it to be extremely challenging. And so basically what it is is you've got uh, two knobs on here one up here and one back there and you have two mazes one on this side and one on this side and so what you have to do is you have to make each one go through its maze so that it comes starts on the inside and ends up on the outside so you have to unlink these by going through the maze and uh, anyway it's it's pretty challenging it's really hard to uh, concentrate on one side flip it over and then you instantly you can't see the other side and so you lose your place so anyway, it becomes very challenging, uh, and I, I found it to be uh, really fun to solve. So it, it took me a long time. Um, I don't know, maybe it'd be easier if you drew the maze out, but uh, I, I was just constantly just trying to get it out. Eventually I did. Um, yeah, and I found it to be really a fun and a cool puzzle. And like all the other Hanayama puzzles, it's just a solid puzzle. It's, it's very high quality. It's not like you're going to bend it or something. Um, it's really great. So anyway... That is the labyrinth puzzle. And then also we have this one, and this one is the vortex. And this one has these three uh, kind of uh, bent nails, or I don't know what you would call it. But uh, they, they're all intertwined, and they make this really nice, uh, close to symmetrical shape when they're all together. And your job is to take them all apart. And it can be very difficult. Um, it's even hard to get it out of this beginning kind of pattern. And eventually you get it to here and you, you quickly lose your place. And I found it to be very challenging. Um, I, and eventually I did get it apart, and then I found it even more challenging to get it back. And uh, it's just really uh, a difficult and tedious challenge. And one of the things is, is each piece looks very similar, but there's subtle differences in each one. And uh, I found myself trying to you know take it apart and I think I'd be getting close, and and I would kind of get into these like areas where I thought I was close, but then I couldn't get it apart. And so there's like these dead ends in the solution, and uh, putting it back same way, like it just took forever. But uh, anyway, now I feel like I got a pretty good, good grasp on it. I think I can take it apart and put it together again. Um, you know, in maybe five minutes or so. Uh, but yeah, this one this one's really challenging. So they're both very challenging. Uh, to me, I found that the vortex one to be more challenging than the maze one. The maze one, eventually it's a maze and you can kind of just, if, if you're patient, you can get it out. Uh, but this one, I felt like it was uh, it was a lot harder. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna show me solving them. So if you don't wanna see it, I'll have a spoiler and you can see what time you can skip to at the bottom so that you can uh, see the very end of the video. Uh, but anyway, let's start with the labyrinth. Let's uh, take it apart. Uh, basically, I always start on this this side here, and uh, I've, I've pretty much memorized the uh, the path it takes to uh, get it out. So the cool thing about this one is you actually have to pull this this one out of the ring, so it actually comes out, and then it has to go back in before you can get the entire puzzle apart. So I think that that's really kind of clever. So here it is apart now. So the path it took on the top side was it came in through this hole, came out of this hole, then back into this one, and then out of that one. So anyway, it's it's pretty uh, kind of a clever way to solve it or to to you know have a puzzle like this. I, I found it to be really kind of fun. So uh, now you guys know how to do it. Um, and getting it back is a, a little cha more challenging again. I don't know why I have trouble putting them back. I have more trouble putting them back than I do putting them together. Okay, there we go. I got it back. Okay, so let's do the labyrinth or the vortex. Here's the vortex. So it pops out. And I'm not even going to show you guys how to do it. I'm just, I, I might not even show the whole thing because it's really tedious. Let's see. So one of these pieces can skip over the other. 
It's hard to remember which one is which. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this guy here can jump right over that piece, and now it's inner unlinked a little bit. And then it doesn't get that much easier. You want to get them all on the kind of the, they're kind of two loops. I, I kind of think of them as two loops. And you want to get them into the outer loops. Let's see. Ah, this one's so hard. So now all the inner loops are on the outside and they're only looped by these larger loops. And then you can find one that can come apart. Ah! <laughs> there we go. So now I've unlinked these ones and they come apart pretty easily now. <laughs> so there we go, I got these ones taken apart. And now it's time to put them back together. Haha! -ha. <laughs> I got it back. That takes forever. And uh, yeah, anyway, this one's very difficult. But uh, it's fun, right? So anyway, I think these puzzles are really cool. Um, I put a link in the description where you can buy them. Um, and uh, yeah, I think these Hanayama puzzles are pretty amazing. Uh, they're pretty cool. So anyway, my coworker has a bunch more. Uh, and then I have my own little collection I have as well. So uh, anyway, I think they're really cool. These guys are, are really fun ones. Um, I probably, I don't know, I, I think I like them both. I, I like this one because it's kind of fun and clever and it's a maze and, uh, you know, I can probably do it in a minute or so. This one is very hard and very tedious and so uh, it's very uh, exciting to get it done once, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if I always am going to want to pick this one up again because it's so challenging. But I don't know, if that's your thing, this one might be the one you like. So uh, anyway, I think they're both really awesome, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks guys for watching, and of course, have a great day.